Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Today we are back with my blog after a long series of organic vlogging, which is also on light worker topics, just without a script. Some of those tend to, well, they're more powerful, but at the same time, you. Well, I noticed I was reading a blog post once which was yesterday, and I went off script to add a more information to it. It happened once before, I thought I had everything. Turns out, no, I'm going to add more to it, add more energy to it, more topic or whatever it was. And this is following that blog post from yesterday. This is the series from from six days ago. Uh, let me show that off real quick to tell you what is going on. Okay, so we have the first one six days ago, followed by four days ago, and then this one was as a status update, and then today we have the one I will be reading now, written last night, uh, 21 hours ago. And that's as a recap of what this blog post is following. I'm going to actually do this. Let us get into it. Actually, I'm get whoops. I'm going to have to zoom this in, so let's see how bad my... Okay, that will not work. Nope. Um, well, that doesn't really work. Uh, since my computer screen is much further away than my... Your standard... Uh, monitor? That's why my I, I have to zoom in, make things bigger, because the screen is further away. That, that's why. Okay, so, back to this type. Do not take pity on anyone. Help those who want your help. Never force your light onto others. So many people get this wrong. You are supposed to help yourself as you help others of the light. Do not help the demons. Help the innocent. If they want your help, many times we force our beliefs onto others, which is wrong. I had it happen to me before, a couple times, did not like what I felt, and I now know you have to respect people, respect their choices, however, if they are evil, tell them off, fight evil with evil, so to speak, except that's also negative because if you feed the trolls what happens, they will come back at you. So cut out the toxic people. Block the trolls, block the idiots, and you will never have your life. Personally, I made that m same mistake. I made that same mistake of, you know what, I am going to be evil back to the troll. What happened? I continued the troll, and he kept ranting at me. We ranted back and forth for several days until I said, okay, this is going nowhere. We are not solving anything by fighting. And I blocked that troll and never looked back. Fight the troll is very bad. You are not going to solve anything. You're not going to get your view across. They will continue to get a rise out of you. They want to see your anger. One time I asked the troll, I'm not even mad. And he's like, I don't care if you're mad. And then he never talked to me again. Therefore, I 
my assumption was this. The troll did like me fighting him. Sheep will do this. You say something wrong, and you start an argument, and it will go on for days, months, or years. If you do not block that person, just saying, and that's what I mean by uh, off topic, but still in the same thing. Arguments can happen from trying to help others, trying to force your beliefs onto others. What happens? They spit in our face and walk all over us because we gave them the opportunity. We gave them that power. Think before you act. Think before you say. Observe before you speak. And this goes now into who can we help? Those who want it, those who accept our truth, our light. Those who do not troll our messages of light and truth, our power. Have compassion for those who want our help and those who are afraid to ask, or those who do not know how to ask our help in the first place. Three types of people, afraid to ask, they ask, or they do not know how, but they follow along anyways as we give them advice, whatever it is, whatever our videos are on or blog posts are on for me this is advice or it can simply be higher wisdom which is actually giving you advice but at a higher level our actions speak the loudest our actions show who we are If you are into all the evil acts, such as murder and rape, then you are therefore a demon. Because why on earth would you do any type of evil crime in the first dane place? Keyword, in the first place. You wouldn't. A light being would never commit crimes in the f of any sort. They are against crimes. They are against negativity, except for, quote, racism, because light versus dark. You can call that as racism, because you're talking about good people versus evil people, light versus dark, white versus black. And that's why I said Racism with elk woods. Um, a person can blindly follow the church and not harm the innocent. A person can do that. They can follow a faith blindly because that is all they knew. That is how they were raised. They don't know is wrong. They don't know they are being cut off from higher levels of consciousness because they cannot see it. They are lost in the matrix. We, as light workers, plant the seeds. We cannot force anyone to accept it. Many people will say otherwise. We are here to wake the world up, force our views. No, you are not here to force your views onto anyone. All you can do is, um, I don't want to say the word of something, but that's not right. We are here to infer that onto other people, Sug make them suggest it. Okay, that, that, that axon makes sense, yes. How I worded that. We are here to suggest the idea, 
to get our views across. It is our opinion. We are merely suggesting it. If you accept it or you align with it, then you are saying to yourself, "Okay, this world is wrong. I am starting to see patterns. Let me extend higher," because the person wants to. They will draw to light workers on their own. We are merely suggesting the idea. If you grasp it, then your soul is trying to tell you something. Your higher self is waking up, and you are now starting to see this, accept it, feel it. You can blindly follow any religion so long as you do not harm the innocent. So long as you are against the negativity humans are, you are against the gossip, against crime, against drama, against toxic people. You're starting to wake up to know these patterns are wrong or these patterns are good. You decide that. Comfort is okay, but it is time to get out of your comfort zone and look to the heavens, look upward to five D, six D, and beyond. Wake up! It is time to see the world for what it is. Corrupted. We were enslaved by the demons the whole time. And it is our job as light workers to plant the seeds for more people of the light of the true faith to wake up. We are merely suggesting that idea, and if more people wake up, then we can guide them to a higher place. Let the demons be in their own world, little world. As more people wake up and see their true faces, what demons are, how they talk, how they think, then you can start to align with what the light beings, the angels, dragon magic, etc. They go by many different names. These are just a few. Do not troll light workers. We are trying to help you. Comfort is okay, but it's time to break out of that comfort zone and look much deeper. Do not stay while you are tolerated. Do not stay while you are hurt and sick. By sick, I mean your aura can be sick, can get sick, meaning. Lower vibration. Why stay while you are ridiculed or being beaten? There are many forms of abuse, not just physical. You can have mental abuse. You can have spirit abuse, spiritual abuse, and that's why I said, "quote being sick." Because personally, I have felt this. My energy was so low that I felt out of it. I felt drained all the time. I was depressed. I had other forms of depression that I did not like. You can probably have nightmares if you stay while you are around this toxic energy. And it will continuously make you sick. Sick in the head, the mind. Sick in the spirit. Sick in the soul. You can have many di- different forms of sickness, not just physical.
Leave the abuse behind. Go to where you can be free and your true, authentic self. Never hide who you really are. If you have no choice but to stay where you have to hide, show your true colors online or by talking to yourself. Stop the lion. Stop the drama. Stop the stress. Stop the gossip. Stop everything that is keeping you in the 3D state. Rise higher. Rise out of it. Look for higher wisdom. Find anything that makes you happy and feel the love. Feel peace. That is to feel balance. That is the key. Find anything that can calm you. Besides, to bring out the good in you, the positive. Judge a person by their actions. Judge a person by their simple statements, and ask them, "Why did you say it like that for?" Then try to help them change their mind. Maybe they didn't see it in the same light as you do. Maybe they are an unwell of something. If they are evil who drags you down, then cut the toxic people out of your life and never help them. If they troll you and do not want your help. You are wasting your time and energy. Do not feed into the trolls. Move on and help those who want your help. Do not feed into the simple cause and effect. You will only hinder yourself if you go down that path. Your job is. To help yourself rise, and those around you who want it, that is your mission. Your mission is to ignore the simple people who are stuck on 3D, who do not care about higher wisdom, deeper wisdom. You do not have to meditate to be in the higher. Path into a higher path. All you need to do is to find higher wisdom, and all the Valencia's texts. Seek what makes you happy and love and balance. Do not feed into the trolls and the nonsense. Have no compassion for the wars. Have no compassion for the trolls. Have compassion for those who come to your.、Uh, have compassion for those who come to you for help and want your higher wisdom, as you show it freely to the world. If anyone tells you to help evil, they are foolish. If anyone tells you they have compassion for the evil people. Then they are demonic. I know sheep are swept up into this vortex of love everyone and help everyone, even if they are raped or murdered by someone, etc. I know sheep cannot see the bigger picture with full clarity. That is why I am reminding you. The real knowledge and the higher wisdom. The innocent need to remember their light. The innocent need to remember their higher wisdom. They are trapped in this foul vortex of serve others, even if they are evil. It is time to wake up this world. That is not. I don't know why I wrote it like that, but that's not it. You are t- 
You are here to help other people who are of the light. You are not here to help the de the evil demons. That is not your mission. So many people get that wrong. Light workers merely suggest the thought, the idea. We give them hope. We tell you that judge others by the actions they do, not just by the words they give us. We do not forgive people for any reason. That is demonic. That leads us to spread more evil. Oh, but you can forgive me. No, do not forgive anyone for anything. That is only telling the person to it is okay to do that in the first place when we know that should have never been done in the first place. Therefore, asking my forgiveness for that is intolerable. It is should never be done. Forgiving someone for the evil acts is wrong. Never forgive anyone for anything. And that is why the world is corrupted because the church told us pray to pray to Jesus, ask him for your forgiveness. That tells me it is okay to be evil, to do that in the first place, knowing that I can be forgiven. That is unforgivable. That is wrong. We are spreading more evil by forgiving it, saying it is okay to do it so long as I forgive you. No. I, I am sorry, but that is not true. The gods will never forgive you for anything. If you murdered someone, why on earth would I forgive you for that? If you beat someone up, why would I forgive you for that? If you lie to me, why would I forgive you? If, because that is telling me you are manipulating me. I know that people lie to protect their loved ones. That can be somewhat toler tolerated. And I have lost all train of thought because my dog is whining. Ugh. Typical. This also goes into anyone who is renting at you and wants your pity is demonic. Anyone who is giving you pity is demonic. That can be you take pity on someone or they are taking pity on you. It is wrong. Sheep do this and what happens? Down the vortex you go. Instead of lifting yourself up, you take pity on others who are demonic. Example, his ex-wife was a demon. What does he do? I want to help her. Even though I know she is lowering my vibration. She had demonic energy and he took pity on her. 
Turns out she has no light anymore. Why take pity or want to help that person? You can't. Once a demon, always a demon. This person is trying to tell me demons can be turned into light. That is very wrong. Once a demon, always a demon. You cannot turn evil into good. That is not our mission. That is why the world is corrupted. It is saying to you, forgive this person for being evil. You can't forgive evil for any reason. You can't do it because that is wrong. Why forgive someone who hurt you, beaten you, murdered someone you loved? Because bad things happen to bad people. There are bad people in this world. There is no karma except the bad people. They are the karma. Light beings are not karmic. We are not karmic. There are just bad people in the universe. There is no cosmic bad energy. There are going to be demons. That is karma. However, if you block the trolls in the first place, cut them out of your life, you have no karma. Think about that for a minute. If you are bad, your karma will hit you eventually. If you are good, you will reap the good benefits. Be negative, you will feel negative. Be positive, you will feel positive. And that is what karma really is about. Not about good versus evil. Well, technically, that is what it is about.、Um, I'm just putting it in a different perspective. There is no cosmic bad energy. Sometimes things just go bad for no reason. I don't know. But there is no evil energy in the universe that is making you evil. It is you allowing the evil. Inside you to control you because the humans who are starting to be in 4D, waking up from 3D, they will stumble and they will fall into the habits of demonic by whatever it is, by lying. Having pity, forgiving someone who they really shouldn't have, going back to a horrible person. It is your job to stop the old habits, stop being negative, turn your thoughts into positive. Your ego doesn't control you, you control it. You control your own thoughts. Do not let the demons control you. You control it by forcing it out of your life, forcing it out of existence. Some kids are just born. Evil. You cannot teach them this is wrong. They will continue to do it. You can try to stop them, but chances are they will never stop. Why do you think the world is so messed up right now? We have so many murders. Some people are just born evil, some people get possessed by demons. Because evil attached itself to the aura. Chances are it's probably because they did not cut these toxic energies away from them and evil attached itself onto you. It is your job to exorcise the evil out, 
percent out of your life. However, I do know in school you can't do this. So what do you do then? Well, all you can do is ground yourself, cleanse your aura, your chakras, and your own mind. Or aloud, you can visualize this person who is bullying you. To tell this entity off, tell them off, see you attacking it. Whatever it is, for me, when I was being attacked by bullies from school, what happened? They followed me into my dreams until I started to attack them in my dreams. I fought them off. I had to snap their necks, though, but. This is in a dream. I didn't hurt anyone. I hurt the entity who was attacking me in the first place. I told this entity, "I am not going to stand for this anymore. I fought you off. I will continue to kill you in my dreams until you go away." And eventually, they did leave me alone. I am not. Tortured by their presence anymore. However, at the same time, living with a horrible parent or parents takes more energy to heal your scars to rise above them. For me, one time, I, I don't know he. I don't really know what happened. There was this one incident. Well, I was being physically hit, okay, spanked. I when I shouldn't have been. He snapped, started be starting to well on me. I was screaming for help. I, what does he do? Shuts the door. Couldn't couldn't get into the room to get him off of me. And he ev- he eventually stopped、uh, beating on me, and and for whatever reason, he、uh, since then he has not attacked me ever. I don't know what it was. I am still puzzled because for years, growing up, he would constantly beat on me. Constantly. Oh, it's your standard procedure to ground your child for doing something bad. Except he would also scream at you for no reason, really, because you pissed him off, and he just screams at you. And I don't know. He he stopped. He he stopped attacking me. I don't know why he just did, but after that event, what did I feel? My aura was so red that it was vibrating so angrily that I could feel it. I could physically feel my aura so red and angry. I wanted to beat him. I wanted to kill him because he. Constantly beat on me. He was a demon that I wanted to murder. Demon. Okay. So you okay? Example. You're playing a video game. You come across a human that zombie. Perfect example. Okay. You're playing a zombie game. You see this zombie. Feeding on an innocent girl. What do you do? You murder the demon. You murder that zombie. That's what I was feeling. He was feeding on me. This zombie, this demon, was attacking me, and I wanted nothing but to fight back to end his a horrible existence because I could see his soul as nothing but. Black as night. I wanted 
to exorcist that demon. Did I somehow tell his energy off? Maybe, except we had an argument later. What do I do? I give him the fucking birdie. That's what I did. I gave him the fucking birdie. Because I, I, I don't know, I, I snapped, okay? He said something to piss me off. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm sick of you. So I'm going to give you the fucking birdie. And I did. I, and, yeah, ever since then, he hasn't, no incident. Because I finally stood up for myself. Because I was sick of him bullying me. He is nothing but a horrible bully. He will never change his ways. He was a dirty, lying piece of garbage who also cheated. Oh, it wasn't the woman's fault. The man decided to, it was okay without him telling her that, you know what, I'm going to start saying other people. You can too. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So you're the bad guy. I'm not. No, it was a player. A player does that. Oh, I'm sorry. He was a demon the whole entire time and you cannot forgive him for anything. You can't. It was a dirty, lying piece of garbage and who attacked us. You can't justify that. You can't justify what he did. What he says. Anything. Even now. Even now. He is hiding the what he does. We don't know his personal life because he hides it. He's so secretive even though they broke up. Keyword. They've broken up. What does he do? I'm gonna hide. I'm going to lie. I'm going to do whatever I do because I'm a lying piece of garbage. You can't do no wrong. I'm righteousness. Yeah, because the Bible told him forgive yourself. It's okay. No, no. You can't you can't justify what he did. You can't. Everyone tried to tell me, oh, it's the woman's fault. No. No. It's not the woman's fault. It's his fault. You can't justify anything. Because they had poor communication. Because he refused to talk in the first place. And there was this one story that he said, or she told me, the only way I can get the real truth is if I drink him under the table and for the booze to talk for him. To really figure it out. Chances are, he probably doesn't even know his truth and because he constantly lied, constantly changed the story, and therefore, he can't tell the truth from the lie. He would just manipulate it all over again. Once again, you can't forgive that. You can't justify it. It's not the woman. It was the, the demon the whole time. That's what demons do. They manipulate you. You can't justify that. You can't. I have no pity for this man. I'd rather see him burn in hell because that is where he is going. Hell. Literally. He is never going to be in heaven because he's a demon. Demons do what demons do. Once evil, always evil. You cannot change his mind. Okay. I, I stood up for myself. Because I was sick of him bullying me. What did, what does he do? He doesn't talk to me anymore. We avoid each other. All he says is, is hey, or talks about a, his job, ranting, something happened, or... But chances are, he's so secretive, you don't know anything. I mean, sometimes he... No, it's very rare when he tells the truth, like, what is going on. Like, if he has to go out of town uh, for work. I mean, at least he's starting to call. 
when well not up he's starting to call but for the most part of my life he was so secretive you didn't know squat you can't justify that you can't he was a class clown who refuses to grow up even he said that even he said you know what i will never grow up i am going to act like a child the whole entire time what he told me is he's immature for life immature for a life because he refuses to grow up growing up doesn't mean you are going to be a child to be an adult what you're saying when you tell yourself you're grown up what do you what are you saying you know what i am mature i am above these class clowns i am above these demons let me do me let me be who i am let me be what i am and no one is going to tell me otherwise if you are a jokester that is okay if you're into the comedy and jokes and all of that so long as you know you're not lying you are a gentleman you can still be a child and immature having fun having parties getting drunk so long as you're not being a dick because then the czar being immature is being a dick and that's what he told me i'm going to be immature for my whole life i refuse to grow up and from that he's a demon he's immature you can't justify anything you can't forgive him for anything you 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 can't and yes i've been wanting to express that on video for a long time it just never came up until this video so good on ya um but yeah there's multiple things like i said most people think you can change evil into light this thinking is completely wrong what are you saying is forgive evil you can be into the night but i must forgive you you can't do it you can't justify it you can't forgive evil demons will always be demons it is your job to rise above their demons do not take pity on them cut them out of your life and that is why we are planting the seeds suggesting the real knowledge the real higher wisdom when you think evil can be turned into light it allows you to be evil take pity on it hope they don't do it again this allows more evil to spread you turn a blind eye as i said before the gods will never forgive you for anything the gods will never take pity on you why do the evil deed in the first place that is what you should be questioning do not take pity on people this is an evil act in itself and will lower your vibration block the trolls block the pity makers do not fall for their tricks rise above them see through the bullshit have no compassion for the evil deeds and the people who commit those crimes in the first place have compassion for the people who are into your light even if they may not admit this if 
the people listen to you, then have compassion for them. Have compassion for the innocent. Have no compassion for the trolls. Help the people who want your help. Do not force this onto others. You cannot help everyone. Do not even try. Do not waste your energy. Keep your energy sacred to yourself. Make sure you are not overdoing things. Make sure you are not running out of energy. Do not heal everyone you come in contact with. By doing this, you make sure you are keeping your energy sacred to you, so you do not run out. Be aware of who you give your energy to. Do not feed into the black holes people can be. Make sure you have a balance. Accents speak louder than words. Vibrations speak the loudest. This person tried to feed on my energy as I listened to him raving about his self-pity. No wonder I felt a dark presence because he is demonic. The person claims he is of light, however I know better. This is what demons do. They mask themselves as light to trick you. I saw through this. I am here showing you. Do not take pity on, on anyone for anything. The only person you should feel pity for is yourself for not rising above the demons, for not seeing through their demonic bullshit. Do not forgive anyone for anything. You can never justify evil for being evil, their evil acts. You cannot justify it. This person wanted to help his demonic ex-wife, knowing that she is lowering his vibration, he took pity on her. You can't. You need to remove yourself from the people who lower you, who make you angry, who steal your energy away, who lowers your mindset. If you're always angry, sad, fearful, cut these people out, return to love, light, bliss, and happiness, hope. That is what light workers are. Blissful, light, happy, and hopeful. Not hopeful for the demons. Hopeful for us. Hopeful for our own future. And for our own kin. If they were not born evil. The gods do not forgive you for doing evil deeds. The gods do not take pity on people. Accents speak louder than words. Vibration speaks the loudest. Ever wonder why an animal freaks out? 
when ghosts are around or bad people. Trust how the dog responds. Trust how the cat responds. But I know cats are uh, scared of strangers. They will run away, skittish. Um, however, dogs can be skittish too. However, trust in your pet. Chances are, they see something you don't. They feel something you are unaware. Night workers are aware of the energy. They are aware of things that most people are not. We are here planting the seeds, giving you the suggestion whether it is right for you or if you accept it for you, do not do this for anyone but yourself. And that is what you should be thinking. Is this helping me? Is this rising my vibration? Is this keeping me happy? Is this keeping me angry? Is this making me sad? Is this making me afraid? Ask your questions. Find the answer. If it is negative, toss it out. If it is positive, keep it. Listen to what your vibration is telling you. Listen to what your thoughts are telling you. Listen deeply. I thank you for your time and until we meet again.